When people think of a liberal arts college, they usually don't picture an institution with a heavy emphasis on research. But Teal College, founded in Greenville, Pennsylvania in 1866, is moving in that direction. What are the liberal arts? They're critical thinking, clear communication, understanding cultures different from their own, ability to evaluate information. Those are the, what we mean by the liberal arts. Susan Traverso became Teal's 20th president in August, and she says it's those liberal arts skills that make their graduates so marketable. Teal graduates, uh, nearly 100% of them, up in the high 90s, report that they are employed shortly after their graduation from Teal. One of the strengths of Teal College is that many students have opportunities for, to engage in research. Greg Butcher is the chairman of the Department of Neuroscience. A lot of the funding for NIH, NSF, other federal agencies has been cut over the past 10 years, and so it's very difficult for small institutions to actually apply for those funding and to be competitive. Which is why the funding from the new Greenville Neuromodulation, or GNC, center is so crucial. Delbert Abi Abdallah is the director of the center. Faculty uh, that get selected to do research will get uh, money for uh, supply stipend and uh, for them and the student. And essentially, uh, they do one-on-one -on -one intensive research with the student, which currently we don't have as a model at Teal. So we do have faculty that do research. We do have students that get involved in research, but it is not uh, intensive one-on-one, -on -one, eight, ten hours a day for an extended period of time, which is what this research institute allows for. Assistant Professor of Biology Sarah Swerdlow says the research, along with some new equipment, is helping students gain the skills they'll need for after college. We have a science initiative where we are going to be getting some new research labs. One of them is a microscopy suite where we'll have a couple different microscopes. Uh, the projects we have had funded so far have varied anywhere from infection and pure, you know, lab science research to uh, theater projects. Einstein is actually going to close the show. Senior Austin Hall received a grant from the GNC to research his one-man show, Berlin ist Gefallen, about the Weimar Republic in Germany. Started interlibrary loaning books from different colleges. Um, we took a trip to Washington, D.C. and researched, uh, looked primarily for um, primary photographs and video at the Library of Congress. Much of Teal's recent transformation can be attributed to a fundraising campaign that has raised more than $61 million since 2009. And that fundraising has made possible wonderful improvements on campus, the Pettus Center of Communication. Over the last several years, we've been, been spending somewhere between $1.5 and $2 million in campus improvements. And our goal has been to try to uh, cover all facets of the institution. So we've been looking at student housing, at the athletic department, at the academic program. So we're trying to get a broad base of, of coverage of improvements for the campus. The campaign also coincides with Teal's 150th anniversary as an institution of higher learning. I would like to see research at Teal become a, a strong independent entity. I would love to see uh, more of our students engage in internship opportunities. Teal has the, has the faculty, has the talent, and has the drive uh, and the willingness on the part of administrators and donors to push for uh, a research culture. We're just happy to be a, an active part of the Greenville community and um, we believe that we both need to work together and um, I think the economic impact of Teal in the, in the region and in this community is, is uh, phenomenal and uh, we hope that folks appreciate that. Internships and undergraduate research, real world learning, opportunities for students to put their education into practice, those are things that I'd like to promote here.